All right, friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do an advanced PC tune-up. I guarantee you after doing this PC tune-up, your computer will be running a lot faster than when you even first got it. Okay, it'll be running faster than when you got it out of the manufacturer. All right, so the first thing you need to do is uh, go to the Internet. We need to download some tools. So go to the Internet. Go to Google.com. And type in C Cleaner and open up the one that says C Cleaner Download Paraform. This one right here. Okay. Make sure you click on the Paraform link right here where it says Download From. All right. It's going to start the download here in just a bit. Click on Run on the message at the bottom. It'll pop up here in just a bit. Click yes on the security message. All right, go ahead and click next on the installation window here. Uncheck the automatically check for updates checkbox, and then click on next. Uncheck these unless you want Google Chrome, which I don't. Just gonna uncheck those boxes. It's gonna install it. Uncheck the view release notes and then click finish. Click yes on the intelligent scan for cookies. All right, what we want to do here is well, the fr we got to close down the internet before we even use this tool. All right, so close down the internet. Uncheck the history and the recently typed URLs. You don't want to, unless you want to delete those, go ahead and leave them checked. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck them. And I'm going to check my recycle bin. You can choose to uncheck it if you want. Click on Run Cleaner. Check this box, Do Not Show, and then click OK. It's going to clean up temporary internet files, cookies, all of that. Next thing you want to do is click on Registry. Click on Scan for Issues. It'll find quite a few issues. If you're lucky, it'll say no issues here. All right, click on Fix Selected Issues. Click Yes right here on Backup. And just click Save. This is going to save it in your um, documents. This is going to be a backup of your registry. And then click on Fix All Selected Issues. All right, so we're done with this part. Go ahead and click uh, close out of the CCleaner. Next thing you want to do is uh, go to MS Config. If you are on Windows 7, click on Start, and then uh, on the search box there, type in MS Config, and then hit Enter. Since we're using Windows 8, um, hit the Windows key. It'll take you to here. Type in MS Config. And there it is. Go ahead and click on it to open it. All right. So what we want to do first is the startup. You guys on Windows 7, you will see uh, the list right away. Us on Windows 8, um, go ahead and click on Open Task Manager. You will get a list here of all the startup programs. I only have one, uh, but you might have quite a few on here. Go ahead and disable the ones that you don't use on startup, okay? And that will really, that'll really speed up your computer when you first start it up. So disable the ones there, okay? Next thing is services, so we click on the services tab here. Make sure you click on hide all Microsoft services here, it's important. Now, I only have a short list and I need these. Uh, go ahead and uncheck the ones you don't need. For example, Google Update, you don't really need that. Flash and Java, uh, you know how it keeps popping up and bugging you. Once you uncheck that, that won't happen anymore. Uh, uncheck the ones that you don't need, okay? and then click apply and OK. Next tab, the boot. All right. Click on the boot tab here. Click on advanced options, number of processes. Check that box and select as many processors as you have. This will really speed up when you first start up the computer. 
turning all your processes on okay processors I mean on then click OK click apply if it tells you to restart just say exit without restart okay the next thing to do here is update your Adobe and your uh, update flash player and Java so go to Google again Well, actually, before we get started here, we got to reset the Internet Explorer. So on the upper right-hand corner, click on the little sprocket that says Tools. Go to Internet Options. Click on the Advanced tab. Click on the Reset button here. Now, if you have more than one window, it's not going to work. Make sure you only have one window open for Internet Explorer. And then click on Reset. It'll reset your Internet Explorer it's gonna tell you to restart so let's restart Internet Explorer okay now let's go ahead and um, just go ahead and click use recommended settings here and then click OK alright now go to Google type in flash player and then click on the first one, Adobe Install Flash Player here. Now if you're on Windows 8, Flash Player is already included, so you don't have to worry about this part. If you have Windows 7, go ahead and uh, download Flash Player and install it. Okay. Next one is Java. So let's go back to Google. Type in Java Download. and there it is on top okay click on free java download and then click on agree and start download you're gonna get a message at the bottom click on run now if the run button doesn't work another way to do it is click on the little arrow here next to save and click on save and run and there it goes it's downloading it It'll download it here in just a second. It's running a security scan. It looks like it's downloaded now. Depending on your internet connection, it'll take a while. Okay, if you get a security message, click yes. It's going to come up here. Once the Java window comes up, close your Internet Explorer. Close everything. Okay. Click Install. And it's going to download it. Like I said, it'll take, it'll take a while. Okay, once Java is done downloading, it'll come to this window. Go ahead and uncheck the Install Ask toolbar here. And then click Next. It'll start to install. All right, and here it's installing. Okay, and while we wait for this to install, let's go ahead and um, open up the internet again. We got one more tool to use. Go to google.com. Type in defragler. Click on the first one here where it says defragler file and disk defragmentation free download paraform. Okay, click on the down the green download button here. Alright. Looks like Java's done. That's good. Go ahead and click on the it's gonna take us to Java. Just go ahead and close out of that window. All right. Go ahead and click on the Paraform link where it says Download From. It's going to give us a message here at the bottom. Click on Run. And we're going to run Defragler here in just a second. It's going to run it automatically. Click Yes on the security message. 
All right, and here's the defraggler setup. Click next. Uncheck the automatically check for updates box. Click install. Uncheck the view release notes and click finish. Okay, so with this program, we're going to defragment our hard drive. If you have a brand, brand new computer, skip this part you your computer doesn't need it if you have a windows 7 older machine then uh, or xp then uh you might need it let's so go ahead and uh, to find out if you need a defragment or not click on analyze the, the lower left hand button here so if it's below 10 percent you don't need to defrag if it's above 10 percent you do need to defrag i am at five percent so i don't need to defragment if you're above 10%, go ahead and click the defragment button and it'll start to defragment. It'll take about, depending on your, the size of your hard drive and your, how your computer, how much it needs the defragmentation, it might take from 30 minutes up to a couple of hours. I've, e I've even seen it take 24 hours, so it depends on your computer. But if, like I said, if it's above 10%, click on defrag, okay? And one last thing to do in this advanced PC tune-up is to check to see if you need updates. If you have Windows 7, click Start and go to Control Panel. If you have Windows 8, hit the Windows key and then type in Control. There's a Control Panel here. Click on System and Security. Click on Windows Update. Looks like I don't have on. I don't have turned on automatic updating. I'm gonna turn it back on. All right. So go ahead and check for updates. And if you do have updates pending, go ahead and install them. And that concludes this advanced PC tune-up. I recommend after you do this, your computer will be running a lot, a lot faster than before. Okay. Hopefully this tutorial has helped you guys out. And as always, have a good rest of your day.